All right, guys, I was gonna show y'all how I do equal sections on a cross buck fence or anything that's got the X in it. All right, this is my little drawing. I'm gonna do this like in the estimating phase or when you're quoting a job. Uh, this is my house. Y'all don't make fun of my picture here, but this is the fence right here. These are the measurements. This is 90, 76, and 69. So we're gonna have sections that have an X. I'll show you the style of fence we're doing and I'll show you how to make the sections equal where you don't have a big section or a little section at the end. All right, this is the style that I'm talking about when I say cross buck. There's a lot of variations of it, but this is one of the styles that aesthetically looks way better if you have equal sections. All right, I already did the math, but I'm gonna kind of show y'all how I did it and walk y'all through it. So on this back run, it's 76 feet. So we're gonna take 76 and divide it by eight. It's gonna come out to 9.5. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that number and, and round it up to the next whole number, so 10. So what that number is, that number is how many sections you're gonna have. So I put that over there, 10 sections. So you take how many sections you have and you divide the, the footage by that. 76 divided by 10 is 7.6. So that first number right there, that's your feet. So I'm gonna circle that. So I know when I'm marking out my post, I'm gonna be at seven foot something. So to find the inches, I'm just gonna take 0.6 and multiply it by 12. And it comes out to 7.2. Uh, I usually round that if it's less than six, I'll just leave it at the number it is. If it's more than six, I'll round it up to the next number. So that leaves you seven foot seven inches. So seven foot seven inches is where I'm marking my post. So on this back run, I'm gonna have 10 sections and I'm gonna mark each post at seven foot seven inches and that's gonna come out to where it's all the same. So on this side, I did the same thing. Okay, 90 feet. So my first problem is 90 feet divided by eight. I got 11.25, I rounded it up. 12 sections so then i take that number and divide it into 90 90 divided by 12 is 7.5 that's my footage that's my feet seven so then i take 0.5 multiply it times 12 that's six inches so 7.5 is seven foot six inches so that's where this is going to be 12 sections coming down i'm gonna mark my post at seven foot six inches and the thing is, this is a little different than this, but it's only an inch. Nobody's going to see that and say those are an inch different than the other ones. You want to divide these out by the run, and you're usually going to be seven foot something. So as long as these all look the same, it's going to be good. All right, this side here has a double gate, 10 foot. So all you're going to do is you're going to take 69. You're going to take the 10 feet out of it. And you're gonna do the same thing. 59 divided by eight, you're gonna get 7.37. We're gonna round that up to eight sections, which this one, the second thing, it's the same thing, 7.37. So you got seven for your feet, then you're gonna multiply 0.37 times 12. I'm just gonna leave that at four and don't worry about that. So seven foot, four inches is gonna be my uh, where I'm marking my post when I'm going to dig. So on this, I'm gonna to try to put the gate where it's gonna work out with my section. So I'm gonna come over one section, then I'm gonna do the gate, and then I'm gonna do the other seven sections from here to the house. All right, so that's how I do my equal sections. Uh, I know somebody's gonna come on here talking about the equalizer, and that's fine, man. If y'all wanna use the equalizer and it helps you, that's totally I mean, I'm not going to hate on you. Uh, the thing is, I figure this when I'm doing my pricing. So before we even know if we have the job and we're just trying to do an accurate estimate, I'm figuring all this so I can figure my material right. So if I'm going to do the work to do the estimate, I'm going to have all this information already. So like if we do sell the job and they sign off on it, like all of this information, all this verbiage and like the how many sections and where you're marking your post, that's going with the guy that's going to set the post. 
So he's going to have all this before he even pulls up at the job. He's going to know what he's, where he's marking and how many sections each line is. So, I mean, if y'all want to use the equalizer, then use it. But our guys aren't trying to figure out the sections when they're at the job. We already know that before they get there. Um, so that's why we don't use the equalizer. But if that helps you, then, you know, everybody does things different. If it's something that helps you and you feel good about it, then, then use it.